Alright, upon popular request, here is the tutorial on how to edit camouflages in World of Warships. The first thing you are going to need is the game, obviously, and for the game you are going to need the unpacker. I'm going to put a link in the description. It will send you to this site here. You can find the two links that you need to unpack World of Warships. Second thing you need is an image editing software. Now I'm going to be using GIMP because that's what I use. Um, Photoshop works fine and I think you can also use paint.net. The important thing is that you have a DDS plugin or DDS support on said software. Finally, the last piece of software you'll need is something with which you can edit XML files. I am going to be using Notepad++. Uh, you can technically also use Notepad, but Notepad++ makes it easier. There are other options out there I know. Uh, I'm going to link Notepad++ because that's what I use. Right, to start the process you will need your World of Warships Unpacker GUI and the EXE and you are going to open the Unpacker. Now this is what it looks like and what you're going to do is you press load content and this is going to load all the uh, files from World of Warships into the tree of packed content and as you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. Now what you absolutely need is the camouflage XML. This is uh, the thing we'll be working with the most. You're going to need this to assign the camouflage to said ship. You're also going to need it to make changes to the camouflage, like what kind of color you want, etc. Now the next thing, this is optional. Um, you can go into content. You can uh, go and uh, export the camouflage textures. If you want to see what some camouflages look like in game. This is not something you necessarily need to do. And finally, uh, you can also go and uh, find uh, specific ships wherein uh, you can go into the textures and use them. We're going to not export all of them. You can also specify the unpacker to only look for DDS files. Uh, uh, we're going to make it really easy. We are going to pick a uh, a destroyer that I've already worked on. So uh, let's go over to Japan and ship, destroyer, textures. Let's see. Now, if you're wondering what NMG, AO, and all that means, uh, they are different kinds of maps for the ship. We're going to take all of them so I can explain what they are. And once you're done, you are going to press unpack and it's going to run the unpacker. Just quickly going through everything before we get on to the camouflage itself. First one, this is the name with the N at the end. This is the normal map. Basically makes the ship look a little more 3D and bumpy. That's what it does. We don't need to do anything to this. Then we have this. This is the usual texture of the ship that we would see in game. Then we have the ambient occlusion. This is basically adding a, a bit of shade to the ship on top of the normal texture to make it look more lively. And finally we have this file. Uh, on some ships this is quite useful. This is actually to assign the camouflage. It's the overlay. So everything that's purple is basically where you're going to see camouflage. Everything that is brownish is where you will not have camouflage. So, for instance, if you're doing a deck of an aircraft carrier, for instance, Zuyo or Hosho, you will notice that uh, the flight deck is completely brown, but you can change it to purple and then have a camouflage on the flight deck. We don't need this, however, because Shimakaze camo is pretty simple, so we only need this file. Now, since we're working one to one, we can just start, let's just start drawing onto the surface here, and uh, creating our camouflage. Now, the important thing about making camouflage is, is that unlike a skin, camouflage only uses three colors, which is red, green, and uh, blue. Now, these three colors are the only things we're going to be using in the camouflage file. And I will explain why later. So uh, let's uh, try something simple. So we're going to have a 
a big red squiggle going on the ship. Also, this, this takes some time getting used to because, as you can see, the ship is split into different parts on the unwrap. So, uh, yeah, just bear with me here. Now, important when exporting this in GIMP is that you uh, merge all the layers. Since DDS files go a little buggy in GIMP if you don't. But yeah, um, let's finish that. Oh yeah, let's get some uh, green in there as well, so we can have all the all the colors. Anything you paint black or white, I just stick to black because it's easier. Is going to have a single base color. Everything else is basically what you want to be using for for the camouflage itself. So let's go and save that. Now we are in the camouflages XML. I have opened it in uh, Notepad++. This is what the camouflage scheme looks like. Now I usually make replacements for permanent camouflages, which is uh, really simple. You basically have an overlay over the existing ship and there is no tiling involved. So we're going to do that. Let's find uh, Shimakaza in the game file. Not to somebody really likes Shimakaza at Wargaming. Now, going through. This annotation just tells us what it is. Camo permanent one is the first slot for permanent camo on ships. This is the ship that is assigned to it, hence target ship. This is asking whether it's tiled, in which case it is not. And then you have where the file is located. And finally, what the color scheme of the file is. Now, you will notice with American ships and with Japanese ships, you're going to have two. That is because we have uh, two sets of color schemes assigned to each ship due to the Yamamoto and uh, Hazley missions. So if we want to edit this, what we can basically do is take this and change it and basically have the ship have a completely different camo. We're just going to change the camouflage texture to shimmy DDS, which is the name of our file. We're going to leave the guns. Now, if you have done everything correctly, then you should find your camouflage in game. Congratulations, you have made your own custom camouflage. But what if you want to change other things about it? What if you, let's say, don't want your camouflage to be blue or green? Let's say you, you want your Shimakaze to be pink. Why ever you'd want to have your Shimakaze be pink. Back in the camouflages XML, you will find the two color schemes. Now what you can do is edit these. You can go and find them up there. You see Unique Shimak has a color scheme. And these are actually color values. Now this is the intensity of the color. These ones are values, again RGB. So what you ideally want to do is um, well, the easiest way for me to figure out what kind of color I want is I go here and I see that's red, which means that we have full R, no G, and no B. So if I want my ship to be completely red, I put this to maximum, right? Well, not quite, because what basically happens is the lower the number, the darker the red. Now, it being one, it's going to be extremely bright. So uh, as long as I have these values at zero, this is going to be absolutely saturated in this single color. 
And if I don't want it to be a really bright red, then I'm going to have to put it to be a quite small number. So now color zero is red. Now I've changed it to a more uh, unique looking camouflage that I already had lying around so I can highlight what I mean when I say uh, different colors are assigned to different layers. Here you can see we have the red, the white and the green. Now if we translate that into the camouflage XML you will see that you will see that we have slot zero which is color zero over here this which is black or white or any color that is not red green or blue and that is assigned as red up here now second color now we haven't we haven't color coded this but let me tell you since this is black that is going to be the red that is going to be the green and that is going to be the blue very simple stuff so whenever you're making your camouflage make sure that you know which color does what so you can have a final product that looks all right another thing to note is you can edit camouflages while they are in the game you cannot edit the camouflage xml while you are in game this needs to be loaded every time so you need to restart the game while you can update your camouflage in real time. Let's say I want to have a big blue squiggle in the middle of my camouflage. We can go and overwrite that and it should update in game. There you go. There is the big blue squiggle, which obviously translates to green in game. What you will notice, however, is that as you get more and more ships with unique camouflages it will update slower and at some point it will completely stop to update so you will have to restart the game for every change but it's a good way to work on camouflage patterns because you can see the product in game immediately i hope this tutorial has been helpful and i am looking forward to seeing all the crazy camouflage patterns that you guys can come up with